don't tell me you went home already. Good evening, Miss Rosemary. No, I haven't gone home just yet. Up to sounds stupid as always, I see. By the way, I left some of your documents I need finished by tomorrow somewhere near your desk. I trust you went through those. What? Near my desk? Could you be more specific, please? I'm pretty certain I left them right next to it. What? Don't tell me you didn't go through them. You see, this is what I mean when I talked about time. You gotta manage, damn it. This is such an inconvenience. You're so useless, Veronica. Do your work properly. I'm sorry, but I don't know which documents you're talking about. Could you tell me which ones you mean? Did you look around your desk, yes or no? And the trash can? Oh, jeez, it was in the trash can. Just as I thought, throwing away such important documents without so much as a bat on an eyelash. Unbelievable. But I didn't throw it out. I would never throw out any documents without anyone's permission. What are you trying to say? Miss Rosemary, did you really leave these documents near my desk? I'm certain that a quick glance at them would have been enough to realize what they were. But they weren't on my desk or near it anywhere. They were instead in the trash can. Do you know anything? Don't tell me you're suspicious of me. This is so ridiculous. You suspect your own superior at work of foul play? Do you realize how rude you are right now? If I'm wrong, I apologize. I'm sorry. You know, I would never do such a thing. You put them in the trash can yourself and then tried to make it so that someone else did it. You're rotten down to the core, Veronica. Down to my core rotten? You have an unattractive face on top of a despicable personality. It's really hard to be your superior, honestly. I'm sorry, but you need not have gone into that territory, Miss Rosemary. What have we here? Talking back to your superior, are we? That's not what I'm doing here, Miss Rosemary, but I'm still a newcomer in the office. I'm so grateful for you showing me around the workplace and teaching me how to do my job properly. But if someone remarks something negative about how I look, how do I say this? There's not much I can do to change that, and it only hurts my feelings, so I'd appreciate it if you stopped. You know I'm only speaking the truth. The mere fact that an ugly swine shows up to work in the secretary division makes everyone's morale drop to an all-time low. We don't need ugly swine around here. Don't come to work again. You need not say such things, Miss Rosemary. I'm only trying to do my best for the company, as you know. Trying to do your best? You've got some guts saying that when you haven't even gone through the documents that need to be finished by tomorrow. These weren't even on my desk, as we discovered. Perhaps a little heads up during the day wouldn't hurt. And this sort of mishap can be avoided in the future, I believe. Eh? That tongue of yours is still alive? Sounds like you're putting the blame on me. I haven't typed a word with that intention. And I also know this. The vice director of the company has taken a liking to you. What? Taking a liking to you. When you're nothing but a hideous hag. How did you do it? Use your body, I suppose. I must ask you to stop saying these things, Miss Rosemary. Perhaps the reason why you're being so mean to me is because of what's going on with the vice director? Eh? I'm not even being mean to you, Veronica. No wonder you're so stupid. You can't even understand a person right. But someone saw you walking alongside the vice director a couple days back, and then I got depressed. Why is that? The vice director is a handsome young man who can do his job properly. He's like a rock star to us all. He's not the kind of person to keep all to yourself. And then there's you, a plain dull woman. I really can't understand why he's taken a liking to you. In any case, I know you're never letting him out of your sight. Like some disgusting stalker. Could you stop doing such things? You're ruining the division's reputation with stupidity like that. I don't have any intention of doing such actions. Perhaps not, but never forget that you're being a nuisance to us all. Not just the vice director himself, but everyone working in the secretary division. You've no idea how much of an obstacle it is to have to work with someone we know is giving everyone a hard time. How about you start accounting for how everyone else feels about this, hmm? I didn't realize everyone regarded the vice director that way, so I'm sorry to have caused the trouble. So in other words, you don't approve of me being seen with the vice director, am I right, Miss Rosemary? Not just me, damn it. Everyone doesn't approve, Veronica. He himself must be feeling really bothered by this. And also, why in the world were you with him in the first place? 
You went up to meet with him after work. What the hell were you doing with him? We went out to dinner, actually. We do that sometimes since we do live together, too. Eh, are you pulling my leg? Or has that loose screw of yours finally popped out of its little crevice? No, it's the cold truth, I'm afraid. We do live together, so in the event we get off work around the same time, we go someplace to eat before going back home. What are you trying to tell me? There's no friggin' way the vice director would yield to a stupid, simple woman like you. So you really are a stalker, eh? You sneak into his house every night and you sleep in the same house as him, eh? Do my looks really give off that kind of vibe? However, I do agree with you. Compared to the vice director, I may look pretty simple. My brother's been under the spotlight since time immemorial, after all. Huh? Brother? What? The vice director is my older brother, Miss Rosemary. Our parents divorced when we were very young, so we have different surnames. But we were of the same family name, once upon a time. After I came back from studying abroad, I've been renting a room of his, and that's why we're living together. My father seems to rest easier like that, apparently. Oh, hold on a second. You're the little sister of the vice director, Veronica. Yes, I am. We don't look alike at all, do we? And in other words, you're the director's daughter? Well, I suppose you could say that, yes. My biological father and I haven't really lived together very much, so I don't really think of him as my true father yet. But it was because of him and my brother that I was able to start working as soon as I came back from abroad. I can't forget my gratitude, can I? Why did you keep quiet about that? I didn't think I could show everyone that I'm truly capable of, and I thought people would look at me differently if I joined the company because the director himself pulled some strings. But I'd forgotten that my brother's quite the rock star, especially among the ladies, as you say. But don't worry, we aren't anything like you claim us to be. Oh, I'm not worried at all, miss. About tomorrow's documents, I can check them over first thing tomorrow morning. You need not stay late tonight to do any extra work, miss. Go home for the day, please. I'm sure the vice director is starting to get a little worried about you. I'm on my way home right now, actually, Miss Rosemary. The vice director was so kind as to help me go over the documents with me. And you need not do it tomorrow morning. What? The vice director did? Don't tell me. You didn't blab anything about me to him, did you? You didn't tell him that I made you do them, right? I didn't. I merely told him that they somehow wound up in the trash can and that they weren't finished yet. Oh, thank God. And it's not like I put them there, you know. There wasn't much space to put them, so they may have fallen into the trash can on their own. I'm sorry, Miss Veronica. I didn't think that you'd offer me an apology, Miss Rosemary. That was the last thing I expected. But of course I would. It was never anyone's mistake, and you left for home pretty late tonight. And that's made me feel sorry for you and for the vice director. Is that so? Who would have thought that your attitude would change this much? What a surprise. But I haven't changed attitudes at all, Miss Veronica. Could I ask a small favor of you, if you're all right with it? I'd like you to recommend me to your brother. Romantically, of course. Excuse me? Why would I do that? This is something I shouldn't really say to the younger sister of the man in question here, but I've been a fangirl of his ever since I joined the Enterprise. So I'd love for you to let him know about me so that we could maybe go out to dinner together. Dinner with my brother, you mean? Indeed, and if it's not too much to ask, I don't mind going over to your place for some time together. You're invited, of course. You could be my future little sister, after all. And I've always had this feeling that the vice director is only ever kind to me in particular. And I don't think it's wishful thinking, so... If I just had the chance, things for us could go pretty well. And thus I must call for you to help me out. Perhaps you could be the matchmaker for the two of us and arrange something. My brother is with me right now, and he just said that it really is wishful thinking, Miss Rosemary. What? Wait, hold on, what do you mean? Your brother is the vice director, right? Yes, he is. He's been reading our conversation in DMs for a while now. What? Didn't you say you never told him anything, Miss Veronica? I didn't tell him, Miss Rosemary, but I was crying as I was staring at my screen, so he went and saw what was happening without even asking. What? You can't mean that he's seeing all of this too, right? Yes, he is. 
Mr. Director, this isn't what you think. It's a misunderstanding. What's a misunderstanding, Miss Rosemary? You don't mean the fact that you just call me stuff like ugly swine and hideous bag and that you brutally harass me at work every day, forcing me to do more work? Oh, Veronica, dear, don't go about saying such silly things. You'll only make things worse, you know, and it's not like I wanted to do those things. You're the only one who went to such extremes, though, you see. It's not what you think. All I ever wanted was to educate you to become a good secretary. I never meant for those things to be personal insults. And I sure as hell never intended to harass you, not in the slightest. Oh, I've taken the liberty of witnessing everything that has transpired tonight between you and my sister, Miss Rosemary. Pardon me? Is that you, Mr. Vice Director? The fact that my sister is the newcomer here is no excuse for what I now know you did to her. Insulting her, regarding her looks, forcing more work upon her, and making her stay working until late at night. Until now, she hasn't breathed the word, but I finally know who had the audacity to do these things. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Vice Director. I never knew she was your sister. Who cares if it was my sister or not? You are a despicable human being, Miss Rosemary Floyd. Throwing important documents away voluntarily is another crime to your pile. This will be taken to human resources promptly. Mr. Vice Director, please wait a moment. I really am terribly sorry. I had no malice afterthought. I assure you. It's over for you, Rosemary. Your charm as a woman and as a human being is zilch. Never interact with me or with my sister ever again. The vice director of the company loves his sister, Veronica, very dearly and never allows any harm to come to her and strictly punishes those who did. And Miss Rosemary was no exception. He never had any of her excuses, never forgave her, and promptly arranged for her to be moved to a subsidiary company in building maintenance. Rosemary's salary dwindled to something much smaller and she was thrown into a working society dominated by men. Away from the brilliant office life of the secretary in training, and because of mounting pressure from the vice director, Rosemary's father eventually quit his job at his own company. An angry brother can be as strong as a lion, it seems.